What's up, everybody? This is my WWE NXT TV review for June 15th, 2016. I'm uh, down here in my basement because it's pretty damn cool and it feels good. That's why I'm not doing this NXT review up in my room because it feels like 95 degrees up there. And I'm not going to put on an air conditioner when I'm trying to do a review because you wouldn't be able to fucking hear me. So, I'm down here because it's nice and cool. Anyways, here's my NXT TV review, as I said, for June 15th, 2016. Last week was NXT TakeOver The End. I did a review for that show. I did a predictions. Check it out in my NXT playlist of TV and TakeOver predictions and review shows. So, to start off the show, we ha saw NXT TakeOver The End video package with a lot of highlights from NXT TakeOver The End. A lot of highlights from a lot of the matches. We saw the Revival win the tag titles. We saw Samoa Joe retain the NXT Championship, and we saw Asuka retain the Women's Championship. So it was a good video package to start off the show. And then we had come out, the Authors of Pain come out with, I'm pretty sure he's our new manager because he came out with them. Paul Ellering, Paul Ellering, legendary wrestling manager from the 80s and 90s. Was a pretty good wrestler, I believe, in the early 80s and late 70s. I think he was a wrestler in the late 70s. Paul Ellering was a pretty good wrestler, good worker. The guy could talk, the guy could wrestle, but he ended up, I believe, having a really bad knee injury, so he retired from the ring, and then, of course, we know he became the Road Warriors manager, and he really helped the Road Warriors get over. He really helped them, especially in talking and cutting promos with the Road Warriors. He talked for them a lot, but then Hawk and Animal, they would, you, you know their stick, they would say a couple of their catchphrases. Animal would say, tell them Hawk, and then Hawk would go, well? That was pretty funny good shit. And at the end, Hawk would go, ah, what a rush. It was good stuff. So it's it's great to see Paula Ellering back in wrestling. It's great to see him in NXT. It's great to see the guy back in pro wrestling. So the authors of Pain come out with Paul Ellering, and these guys are massive. They are huge. They are monsters. The authors of Pain beat the crap out of I don't know the other guys' names. There are some mid-carters. There are some guys I train at the Performance Center. I don't know their names. I don't care what their names are. They got destroyed by the Authors of Pain. The Authors of Pain, I believe, were trained by the Great Khali. I didn't know the Great Khali at a wrestling school, but I guess he does. They were trained by the Great Khali. I believe both of them were trained by Great Khali. And... They're monsters. I mean, they're massive, so that's why WWE signed them. Because of their look. I don't know how good they will get in the ring. It doesn't really matter. They're monsters. The authors of pain beat the crap, destroy their opponents, and win. Up next, we had a Kathy Kelly interview backstage. It was a gorgeous, sexy Kathy Kelly backstage interviewing. Uh... Uh, what the hell's his name? I can't pronounce the guy's name. A, a drain, a Dronis or some cr crap like that. A Dronis L. El, El Mondo's. Or, I don't know the guy's name, but anyways, Ty Dillinger interrupts the interview and he starts talking, and basically he says, "You and me tonight, we're gonna go at it in an NXT Takeover rematch." And Ty Dillinger basically says he's gonna defeat him. Up next, we had women's action, NXT women's division action. Carmella comes out first, gets a pretty good pop because Carmella's really popular. Carmella comes out first, does the moonwalk. I always enjoy her doing the moonwalk. Does her 
uh, catchphrases on the mic, I'm the hottest chick in the ring, bada bing, how you doing, stuff like that. Crowd loves Carmella. I'm a big fan of Carmella. She's really improved in the ring, I believe. And Carmella in 2017, I think Carmella could be good enough to be NXT Women's Champion and get an NXT Women's title run. Carmella up against Tess, Tessa Blanchard. Who's Tessa Blanchard? Well, her, can you recognize her last name? Her last name is Blanchard. Tully Blanchard. Tessa Blanchard. Tessa is the daughter of Four Horsemen legendary Tully Blanchard. So Tessa Blanchard, Carmella have a pretty entertaining match. It didn't last very long. Carmella gets Tessa to tap out with her finisher, her submission, her leg lock. I don't know what it's called, but it's a, basically a leg lock around her, the neck, and then she squeezes and squeezes, and Tessa Blanchard had to tap out to Carmella. Carmella gets a victory. It was a good women's match. Up next, we had a post takeover the end post promo from Samoa Joe the NXT champion he talks and basically says Joe basically not not says Joe says basically Finn Balor you got your ass kicked by me and you can leave NXT now stuff like that up next we had a tag match pretty good tag team match Blake and Murphy without Alexa Bliss sadly Alexa Bliss wasn't at ringside Blake and Murphy against TM61. Pretty damn good tag team is TM61. believe they're a pretty damn good team in uh, overseas in Europe. I believe they were in Europe or England. That's where they became a tag team and they became really popular and a damn good team. And WWE signed them and had them debut on NXT. TM61 versus Blake and Murphy. Very good tag match. I enjoyed it. TM61 wins with their finisher, the Thunder, Thunder Valley. Picked a, well, whoever it was, Blake or Murphy, they picked him up, slammed him on his back. Pretty awesome finisher. Good tag team finisher. Or good tag team finishing move, whatever you want to call it. Thunder Valley, it was pretty awesome. One, two, three, TM61 wins. Up next, we had backstage interview with Bailey. Bailey was being interviewed and gave us an update on when she will be able to return to the ring. And she said pretty soon the doctors, I believe, cleared her. And she says, storyline-wise, the doctors cleared her. Bailey was never injured. She was never injured. They just kept her off takeover at the end because she was on every other takeover before that. And they probably wanted to give Nia Jax a spot against... Asuka, that's why Bailey was kept off TakeOver the end. But she will not be kept off TakeOver Brooklyn. So Bailey gives us an interview and an update. It was great to see Bailey. I'm a big fan of hers. Big fan of hers. And hopefully she returns to the ring soon. Get well soon, Bailey. Even though you're probably not injured. And today, by the way, is uh, Bailey's birthday. If you didn't know, today is Bailey's birthday. So happy birthday, Bailey. I hope you have a, had a great fucking birthday. You're one of the best women's wrestlers I've ever seen. Uh, not as good as Sasha Banks, but <laughs> you're very good. I'm a big fan of Bailey. So happy birthday, Bailey. I hope you had an epic, really fun birthday. Up next, after the Bailey interview, we had the main event match. It wasn't the end of the of NXT, but it was the main event, and then we would have a Finn Balor segment. A, a Drande L somebody, whatever the guy's name is, versus Ty Dillinger. This was a takeover the end rematch, and it was pretty good. Ty Dillinger, I wanted Ty Dillinger to win, but sadly he didn't win. Ty Dillinger loses again. I don't know why. I mean, I do understand why he lost again, because his opponent, the guy just debuted at TakeOver. But I'm a fan of Ty Dillinger, perfect 10. The guy's entertaining as hell. The guy's gimmick is great. 
where he comes out, his theme music's great, he comes out, the fans are behind him, chanting 10, 10, 10. Ty Dillinger is a great, awesome talent. I just wish he'd be pushed and uh, used better and get some more victories in the future. So Ty Dellinger loses, sadly. I wanted him to win. Now we have Finn Ballard. They promoted that Finn Ballard is coming out next to basically talk about what is next for the demon Finn Ballard. What's next for him in NXT. Out comes Finn Ballard. Gets a great reaction, great pop. Before he even starts talking on the mic, the fans start chanting, Please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. Also chanting, thank you, Finn. Thank you, Finn. Finn Ballard, the guy has been the heart of NXT for the past year and a half. Or at least over a year, he's been the heart of NXT. It'll be sad to see Finn Balor go to the main roster. I mean, he deserves to be on the main roster, no doubt about it. He deserves to be there. And he should be there before SummerSlam. But I'm still going to miss Finn Ballard in NXT. I'm going to really miss the guy in NXT. Because the Finn Ballard and NXT, they just they fit like gloves. Both of them needed each other. NXT may still need Finn Ballard until the end of July. I'm not sure how long he's going to be there. But they do have good talent like Bobby Roode. Samoa Joe, Nakamura, Austin Aries is there, Ty Dillinger, uh, B- Blake and Murphy are still there, American Alpha is still there, even though I, I'm pretty sure American Alpha will be drafted in the draft in July. Probably drafted a SmackDown, in my opinion. Anyways... Then Finn Balor starts talking on the mic, says how much he has loved NXT, and he started watching NXT before he was there. He saw Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy. That's when he, who he first saw in NXT, and he thought they were great. And he thought the NXT product was great, and he wanted to be in NXT. He finally debuted. Guy had a great debut. And then he uh, won the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic with Samoa Joe. And then he won that, or that was last year. Before that, Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, I believe that was in November or December. Or no, October TakeOver, I think. It was TakeOver Respect, I believe. The TakeOver after last year's TakeOver Brooklyn is when Samoa Joe and uh, Ballard won the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Before that, in, on July 4th of 2015 is when Finn Balor won the NXT Championship in Japan from Kevin Owens. So it'll be sad to see Finn Balor go. <laughs> I agree with uh, Full Sail. Please don't go. Please don't go. But he's going to end up having, halfing, not halfing. He's going to end up being on the main roster very soon. That's all I'm trying to say. Because he's such... The guy's such a great talent. If they book Finn Balor right as his demon demon gimmick, if he's booked the right way on the main roster, the guy could become as legendary as The Undertaker. And that um, mythical character that he has in the demon character. Stupid damn mosquitoes flying by me. Anyways... Finn Balor on the main roster, I fear he won't be booked right, and he won't be used in main events on pay-per-views, but whatever. That's in the future. I'm not going to think about that right now. When Finn was talking, out comes Sinsuke Nakamura. When his music hit, I was excited because we were going to see Nakamura and Ballard face-to-face in the same ring at the same fucking time. This was awesome. This was a great way to end NXT with teasing a match between Ballard and Nakamura before Ballard goes to the main roster. And who knows? After their match, they have, I think, in NXT at TakeOver Brooklyn, they're going to have it. That's just my guess 
I'm not saying it's going to happen, but that's my guess is when it would happen, is take over Brooklyn. Probably after that, take over Brooklyn, Nakamura and Ballard will probably both go to the main roster. Or Ballard could even be drafted, Nakamura could still be drafted, and they could both still go back to NXT and have one final match at TakeOver Brooklyn. Why the hell not? They could go back to NXT. Nobody would get upset that they're leaving the main roster for one night only. So I would love to see Ballard versus Nakamura. It is a fucking dream match. I would love to see it. I hope it happens. Great way to end NXT. Great way to end NXT this week. With Nakamura and Finn Balor teasing a possible matchup between them. That will be epic if they have a match. It will be fucking awesome. Hope you enjoyed my review on NXT this week week for June 15th, 2016. Hope you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at TNA WWE Guy. Also follow me at NXT WWE Guy. I will be back uh, later on. Or probably later I'll upload my Money in the Bank predictions for Money in the Bank 2016. Bye for now everybody.